Do you want to beat your psychosis? This is how you do it. Hello ladies and gentlemen, fairies and leprechauns, what is the crack? Welcome to the first episode of How to Battle Psychosis. Today, we are going over growth mindset. So in this episode, we're gonna be talking about why having a growth mindset is important and three ways that you can develop a growth mindset. So, why is a growth mindset important? A growth mindset is important because of the brain. From technologies such as spec scans, doctors have been able to look at the brains of people with psychosis to see what they look like. So here is a picture of a brain of a person with psychosis. Now to compare this to a healthy brain that looks like this, as you can see, there's quite a bit of a difference. Reasons that these brains look so different is probably because of a number of reasons, including past trauma, the surrounding environment, and harmful habits. On top of that, as you get older, your brain starts to get smaller. But thanks to the discovery of neuroplasticity, it has came to our awareness that you're actually able to make your brain bigger and stronger by adding more neural connections. And so how you create more neuroplasticity is through having a growth mindset. How to make that brain bigger and healthier is by these three things. Here is a little mnemonic in order to remember these three things. It goes like this. B, E, C, Beck. And no, that is not Beck like Becky who bit my ass. Am I right, Hitch? So let's start this off. B. B stands for belief. You've got to believe to achieve. If you look at any successful person in the world, whether that's in sports, music or business, what do they all have in common? Lots of skills and privilege. That is the case for some, but they all have a belief in themselves. Belief comes from deep inside. It is like the fire in the pit of your belly that encourages you to keep on going. When you look deep inside of yourself and you go past all of those self-deprecating thoughts, there you will find the belief inside of yourself and sometimes it comes from questions, asking yourself difficult questions. Sometimes it comes from spirituality and sometimes it just comes from loving yourself. Through the likes of affirmations, by telling yourself, I love myself, I trust myself, I respect myself and believing that you can do it because you can do it. It is just your mindset that you have to change to make you believe that you can do it. So you have to believe that you can beat this psychosis. I believe in you and you can do it. I believed in myself and I did it. And look at me now. Next up we have E. E is for educate. By educating, I mean learning any way you can, whatever way you can, whatever way suits you. Whether that is through books or lectures or YouTube videos, like you're doing now. By learning, you learn the tools and the techniques that you're able to use in order to beat this psychosis and whatever else you wanna do in life. Whether that's through philosophy or psychology or health related, those three things in particular are what are gonna be able to get you through the psychosis for health. You wanna be looking at dietary health, physical health, spiritual health, for philosophy. These guys have been doing it for fucking centuries. And guess what? They're pretty good at it. And that's why their stuff is still about. And then psychology. I believe that psychology is like a continuation of philosophy. Basically psychology is everything you know already, you just don't have a name for it. Whenever you find that name for it, it makes it easier to apply it in your daily life. And that is why I don't suffer from anxiety anymore. So educate yourself in whatever way you can and you'll be able to create new neuro pathways to increase your neuroplasticity and create that growth mindset. Finally then, we've got C and C stands for consistency. By being consistent, doing this every day, you turn these practices into normal habits. And you start to do it without even thinking about it. 
say it's yoga or meditation, you wake up in the morning, the first thing you do is stretch. And then you breathe. By doing this every day, you hardline this habit into you so it just becomes unconscious. By being consistent on top of this, it breaks the bad habits, the unhealthy habits that got you in there to the first place. By practicing these things consistent and learning more and more each day and believing yourself, that is the way that you can create the change in your life and you can create the growth mindset that will allow you to conquer this psychosis and do this the right way. Of course, these three things, Beck, belief, educate and being consistent. You know, the last one, consistent, it sort of speaks for itself. This isn't a practice you're gonna do for a week and then your voices will go away. This is a practice that you will need to implement for the rest of your life. But see, the best thing about this is you can make it as fun as possible. You can enjoy this process and love going through this and learning about yourself along the way. That way, not only are you stopping the voices, but you're also stopping being your old self. For me, being my old self, I used to hate myself. I used to not enjoy the life that I was living. And guess what? Now, I, I fucking love myself. I fucking love the life I'm living. I'm creating this growth mindset. And yes, there are still changes that I still need to make. But still, I'm gonna get there because of a growth mindset. And you can get there too by believing and educating and being consistent with yourself. So leprechauns, a question for you guys. What is it that you like to learn and that you find most effective for battling your psychosis? Please write it down in the comments. Thank you for listening leprechauns. Lots of love to you all. Namaste. Slang foil.